Hi, I'm Roger, and I'm going to talk about a mock and a talk. So what is a mock? What's a talk? Frick and frack? Zig and zag? No. Mock and talk. Mechanism operator contacts and truck operator contacts. And I'm going to explain what they are. Uh, this is according to the IEEE standard. ANSI, you know, we'll get you all confused with that. But let's get to the uh, main point. What is a mock and a talk? Maybe you're new to switch gear. Maybe you're new to the... Uh, withdrawal type breakers, carriages, trucks, not sure what's going on there. This will educate you a little bit on just exactly what these things do. And yes, I'm going to be reading a little bit of a script here because it's hard to remember this word for word, although I am very familiar with what both are. Uh, maybe you'll be out in the field someplace and you're new to this and you're new to switch gear and somebody is having problems, uh, maybe getting a breaker to close, maybe trying to read the breaker status. And they'll ask you, is the mock connected to the talk? And you're going to go, what? Well, we're going to explain what that is. The mock, which is a mechanism operated contact, by definition of the IEEE, and here I'm going to read the script, is a set of auxiliary switches generally containing both normally open and normally closed contacts operated by the operating mechanism of a circuit breaker. They're used to signal the current state and the change of state of the circuit breaker operating mechanism. In other words, your 52A and 52B, and there again I'm throwing some ANSI things at you. 52, without any suffix after it, is your breaker. When you start adding suffixes like A, which is closed, B, which is open, CS, which is control switch, then if you get into the protection settings, you've got the time over current and instantaneous and ground fault, and we'll get to that in another video. Uh, the mock is also used as a connection point for your trip circuit supervision, breaker open close trip, and control power. And this connects to the talk. The talk, oh, well, this mock is also known as a secondary disconnect. Your primary disconnects are your line and load on the back of your breaker. Okay, now the talk. Your truck operated contact. That is a truck operated cell switch mounted in the stationary housing or the cubicle and arranged to indicate the position of the circuit breaker in the circuit breaker compartment. This carries all the same signals as the mock. And if a breaker is racked into the test position, in most cases that mock will make the talk, but it will not make it far enough in to trip the limit to enable you to actually close the breaker or open the breaker on the bus or the line. In test position is what they use to operate the breaker, open and close, check to see if they're getting the open and close contacts back correctly. And from there, the breaker can be racked all the way in and there it will work. Anytime you have trouble with this mock and this talk, it could cause everything from trip circuit supervision errors to the breaker not operating. Uh, maybe you can't close it, maybe you can't open it. Uh, corrosion happens, some things uh, you'll need to look at. But if a breaker can be racked in and out, it will most likely have a mock and a talk. If there is remote operation, you will definitely have a mock and a talk. Okay, hope you got a little bit out of this. Uh, I know when I first started in this many, many years ago, and I first heard this, I had no idea what anybody was talking about. And there, well, back then you didn't have internet and Google and smartphones and all these kind of things like you have now. So we, I'm hoping you got something out of this. If you did, like and subscribe. If you like what you see, hit that bell. You'll be notified of future and upcoming videos. Thanks.